thank you so much for joining us here and welcome you into America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates with Nolan Baker and Scott Kirshner. And myself, my name is Chris Swan. 419-794-3030. That's the phone number. 419-794-3030. Online, America's Retirement Headquarters.com. On today's show, how to know when you can retire. Washington State's going to start taxing people who don't buy long-term care insurance. Could our states be next? And what NFL football Hall of Famer Ray Lewis had to say about retirement. All this and more. But first, let me check in with the guys. Nolan and Scott, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? We're doing great. You know, it's uh, kind of wrapping up summertime, getting ready for fall. And for me personally, uh, getting ready for hockey season. So mm. my uh, youngest is playing double-A travel for our own Toledo Cherokee and excited to go out and spend most weekends in some hockey arena. Um, in fact, that's actually one of the events that we have coming up um, for our semi-annual economic update. Mm-hmm. Uh, going to be, uh, you know, coming up here in October, so not too far out. We've got a couple of the uh, Toledo Walleye players going to be sure. joining us for our game. That'll be fun. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. So hockey is uh, always a fun time. I don't know. Uh, I love summer, but it, I guess if it's going to be cold out, I might as well be in an arena somewhere. So for <laughs> you know anybody who's listening, if you want to meet some of the Walleye players, learn about our economic update, of course, just stop on over to our website, America's Retirement Headquarters.com. You can uh, find out about some of those upcoming events that we have. Uh, Absolutely. But times are good. Yeah, you know, uh, Nolan, I don't know how you did it uh, early in the year. You were traveling and you were out like, uh, well, you were having layovers here at home, right? Um, I was in Texas and then Pittsburgh, and uh, to be honest with you, I wasn't digging it a whole lot. I like being home and being more productive and working working here. But it was neat to see uh, Pittsburgh got some great ideas, and uh, down uh, working with uh, Josh Perkins down in uh, our Texas office was great to be down there. And um, helping them out with Medicare and, and uh, getting rolling, uh, ramping up for AEP, which is coming, uh, gosh, man, that's coming about a month and a half, and we're going to be flying through AEP, another year coming to an end. It's funny, you guys talking about the different seasons that are coming up, Nolan mentioning the hockey season that, that's upcoming, you mentioning the annual election period, and, you know, your your love or disdain from traveling just goes to show you know, people have different preferences. It's the same sort of thing when it comes to retirement, what you may want to do. Isn't going to suit your neighbor? Isn't necessarily going to suit your your former coworkers? Hopefully it suits your spouse and you guys are on the same page there. But it comes down to having the plan that's best suited for you. And that's what the team at America's Retirement Headquarters is here for, creating a plan to get you through retirement. So again, that number 419-794-3030 or go to americasretirementheadquarters.com. As Nolan mentioned, a lot of great events coming up there. Click on the events tab at America's Retirement Headquarters. Dot com. But let's start the show off with, uh, I think, a pretty interesting question here. Would you be embarrassed if someone you knew had access to your lifelong search history? Just over 70% in a new survey admit, uh, yeah, the answer is yes. And that actually sent me down a rabbit hole of some of the strangest financial searches on Google, which include, is it illegal to spend fake money? Can I buy a life insurance on my ex-husband? And how to invest with no money? I also looked at the top 10 searches about personal finance and this one actually stood out. When can I retire? So I'm not going to ask you guys about your previous search histories. I want to know, how do you figure uh, that out? When pe- people can people when can people retire when it comes to incoming clients? You know, I guess the, the search history, I think it's, I thought it's always been there. You know, my phone is always listening to right. us uh, mm-hmm. all the time, no matter what I say. Uh, so the other day I was talking with a friend about a particular car. And wouldn't you know, in my Facebook feed, that <laughs> that car shows up, and yep. I see different ads on there. So I know they're using that information, uh, obviously, to, to track us and the different results. Are quite a bit different. Uh, I guess they say times aren't like the old days as a kid, where uh, you know you just had to get off the grind, and nobody would listen to you except the friends that you're hanging out with. But you know, we do live in different times, and you know, different times really come true when looking at how to retire. Um, you know, it used to be in the past you'd work for a company for. Um, most of your lifetime, it would be pretty common that somebody would go work at a company. Uh, they'd you know, build up a nice retirement pension. They'd be able to comfortably retire off of that pension, Social Security, and hopefully they saved up a, a little bit of money. And you know, what we see today is we've seen that trend drastically change. And that change has been uh, pensions have really become a thing of the past. Um, you know, for myself, I'm in, you know, my mid forties and, and I think for my generation and younger pensions aren't, haven't really been around. Right. It's often things like a traditional exactly. 401k or in an IRA. And that question of when can I retire, I think does give a lot of concern for people nowadays that are getting close to, or just moving into retirement or, or thinking about retirement. That is because of the, I think the uncertainty that they have about, you know, what is the market going to do? Like if you look at this year, 2022, 
you know, we started off with kind of a rocky start to the mm-hmm. market this year. Things were down. Uh, last year, the market was good. So it makes it more challenging, I'd say, for a retiree today to kind of figure that out. And so th- I think that's one of the areas that you can come in and, and take a look at it. What you want to do is you want to break up your portfolio into different buckets of money to help you answer those questions as far as what things look like. Uh, in fact, if you haven't done so yet, take a minute, just Google independent income system and or again visit our website and on the main page you'll see the threats and opportunities facing today's retirees and we'll talk more about this but it's down what your income goals are looking at then what your reliable sources of income are so there are still reliable sources mm-hmm. of income social security uh, if you're blessed enough to have a pension uh, and or annuity income can be reliable sources of income uh, dividends and interest things like that can be a little bit more reliable and that can help remove some of the concerns about what the volatility is within the stock market part of the portfolio uh, i know you probably get that question a lot scott Absolutely. too and the, the question I would say that you oftentimes get is, uh, you know, how do I pay for healthcare related costs and how is that going to impact when I can retire? Well, there's no question. You know, you, you, you talked, you started out by talking about pensions and, uh, you know, I've worked my entire career, 42 years now I've been in the business and I've, I've never worked in a, a job where a pension was ever going to be offered. Um, so a lot of that depends on the type of work that you're in, whether you're going to have a pension. And like you said, that that income stream from Social Security or pensions is there for some people. But people like myself, I've always had to be proactive and putting money aside. I've had to create my own pension. And and I've worked at the uncertainty of the market is going to really uh, affect people like myself where I have to make sure that the market doesn't completely blow up my my retirement uh, portfolio because I don't have that pension. I've got Social Security to come fall back on. But with people with, with, with the Medicare, one of the things that we I always talk about is if you can establish a health savings account, it's a piece, it's another one of those buckets of money that you can set aside. You know, I've got some clients that have forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 sitting in a health savings account. It's a piece of that investment pie. Um, that is going to help offset, come up with health. Um, like we've talked many, many times before, it's going to totally blow up somebody's uh, um, retirement portfolio. Don't sell them the right insurance plan. Don't have the right plans put in place for for health insurance and um, and it doesn't even have to be health insurance you know your your personal home and auto we've talked about that you know you have the wrong uh, home policy and you lose your home to a fire or a catastrophe you're on your own you know and it's important to make sure that you look at all of those type of things yeah, one of the things that we put together is, you know, kind of our three-step process is how to better manage your money, protect your hard-earned assets, and efficiently plan your state. It's really kind of a three-step process, and within that process, there's different checklists that we make available, things like looking at debt elimination plans, looking at creating a financial inventory, stress testing your portfolio from a market downturn, identifying if you're going to retire early, you know, how to get affordable health care costs, how to protect your assets from a long-term care crisis, you know, how to protect your spouse's surviving income if you have somebody that passes away prematurely. So if you haven't gone through the Retirement Guys Game Plan checklist, that's also uh, something that we can make available for our listeners. And I think going through those questions and taking a look at those things in between looking at the independent income system and then looking at the Retirement Guys Game Plan checklist will help you address how to know when you can retire. Taking a look at these things and then going through the checklist is a great place to start as far as setting the framework for figuring it out. The next step, of course, is setting up a time and start creating that plan, uh, you know, entirely at America's Retirement Headquarters. So give a call right now, 419-794-3030, or go online, americasretirementheadquarters.com. You can also take a look, do one of those Google searches, not a strange one, but just look up the independent income system, find out more about that. And then when you're ready to get started with the, the, the team, start developing that plan in its entirety, 419 794 3030. So Wall Street seems to be uh, feeling optimistic lately as a lot of people think the Fed has a handle on inflation. But economist Stephanie Pomboy tells Fox Business the stock markets, well, they're wearing blinders. I think the Fed.
Fed's problem is that they're looking in rear view mirror statistics like the employment numbers, but as long as the Fed has its eyes trained on the payroll number and is boxed in by, you know, eight and a half percent inflation, I think the markets are really over their skis and wildly optimistic about where we're going. So she thinks we could sink into a recession before things get better. What are you guys telling your clients that are worried about the retirement savings right now? Well, we do the semi-annual economic update. So every six months, we kind of share, you know, what's happened in the market, what our opinion is of the market. That is one of the things that we'll be talking about uh, in our next uh, economic update. The, at the beginning of the show, I was talking about with the, the walleyes, where we've got uh, two of our Toledo walleye players that are coming out talking about, does the best defense or offense win games? Uh, we'll be sharing our opinion. The reality is, you know, when we look at the stock market, the stock market doesn't care what my opinion is. Mm -hmm. We're always willing to give our opinion about what we think the market's going to do based upon, you know, continued increase in interest rates. So, you know, what does history tell us? Well, we, history tells us when the Fed aggressively raises interest rates, the markets tend to not perform well, mm -hmm. and it does drag on growth-related stocks. That's what we've seen happen this year. We can also say, you know, even with the pullback that we saw in the first half of the year, if we look at something like the Schiller P.E. ratio, which was created uh, by Dr. Robert Schiller, which is uh, a guy who won the Nobel Prize for his ability to pick the valuations in the marketplace, the P.E. ratio is still at a very elevated risk. In fact, if you look at where we're at right now, the P.E. ratio uh, as of you know the beginning here of September is right at about 30, which was the same measurement that it was back on the Black Tuesday back in 1929. So it's one of those times that you know I think there's opportunities out there if you're very selective on what you buy and what you own, but it's also a market that you have to be careful about. The other thing that I question is the leadership in this country right now. Um, you know, if I look at the past administration versus this administration, you know. Are we, you know, putting too much strain on our country with continued spending, uh, lack of direction, lack of focus on the United States and giving money overseas and focusing on mm -hmm. other places? You know, I think, th in my opinion, Washington's lost sight of the direction of where things are going. And, and all of those things, they spell disaster. Now, again, I love this country. I served in the United States Marine Corps. I still think America is the best country ever. Uh, so I think it's one of those things that we'll get through this. We've gotten through tough times before, but it's an area to not be driving, looking in your rearview mirror. Right, you want to be making those decisions looking forward and looking forward using technology like what we would call the retirement GPS system to have a GPS kind of help navigate you forward, avoiding some of those potential blind spots and traps that could be out there, as well as taking advantage of opportunity. And you know, volatility is not always a bad thing. Volatility can create opportunity. It's you, the investor, and how you respond to that will make the difference between success or pain when it comes to that retirement journey. And of course, that's what we want to do is help you avoid those common mistakes and make sure you make smart decisions with your money, no matter what the market does. Being able to take some of that emotion out of your retirement plan, because we all know when it comes time to make emotional decisions, sometimes uh, that can get in the way and cloud our judgment. So having a more tactical approach, having an actual plan put in place to fall back on and consult when times do seem tough or a little stressful, uh, all starts with a phone call, 419-794-3030, or go online to americasretirementheadquarters.com. Don't forget the events tab there. You can find out more about that economic update that they have coming up uh, next month at americasretirementheadquarters.com. We're going to take a quick break. Step aside for just a second. When we come back, what is the break-even point when figuring out when to take Social Security? We're going to offer a couple examples right after this.